morning everyone it's 3 13 in the morning in alexandria today we're gonna fly egypt air down to cairo and then we're gonna fly on nile air down to hurgada i don't think anyone's done nile air before and if they have there aren't that many out there uh the issue here is that i need to fly egypt air to get to nile air and considering the last time i flew egypt air uh, they didn't even do the state safety demonstration properly. I don't know what to expect from Egypt there this time. And frankly, I don't really enjoy flying them. So let's see. Uh, the Mediterranean Sea is over there. So we are in downtown Alexandria. And I heard it's about 50 kilometers to the airport. So I'm going to call an Uber that's going to pick me up from down there. And uh, we'll head on over there and uh, join me. For this adventure so there he is and uh, honestly Egypt Air is one of the airlines it's like the only airline in the world I don't really look forward to flying but it's only a 30 minute flight so there we go all right we're at Borgal Arab International Airport it's way out in the middle of nowhere, uh, in the middle of oil fields, and uh, a lot of uh, logistics businesses like MSC, cargo stuff. There's police here, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'll talk to you in the airport. I'm not gonna point the camera at me, but I was just told by the security guard up front the flight was canceled. Egypt Air, airline run by clowns. It's almost like, how are they gonna fuck me over this time? And now all my vacation plans, all my trip plans. Hey, I have no idea what's going on now. I had an Air Arabia flight booked. I had a Nile Air flight booked. All those reviews are in question now. Uh, and I'm, now I'm gonna go and talk to an Egypt Air representative. All right, so I had a very, very lengthy conversation with the uh, Egypt Air representative who was a very helpful and very nice guy which uh, goes to show that even though Egypt Air as an organization is absolutely dog shit, uh, there's some very good people working at Egypt Air. So he presented me my options. He said my ticket was indeed canceled and so you know they can't rebook a canceled ticket. That's a system problem, that's not a this guy problem. And uh, he helped me uh, understand what my options are to catch my uh, 9.30 a.m. connection in Cairo. Uh, it's a two hour and 30 minute car ride there. Um, he said Uber probably, or the bus, or uh, there's another app called InRide, but that doesn't work. Um, so I'm gonna Uber there. It's a thousand Egyptian pounds, which is uh, $60. And uh, oh, that's what you have to do here at Borg Al Arab International Airport. Uh, my next issue here is um, ticketed passengers are not allowed past the security checkpoint into the airport and I need to take a leak. So I think uh, that tree is as good as any tree. Borg Al Arab Airport is there. The Uber arrives right there. So I'm just gonna take a leak and order an Uber and go out to Cairo. So, you know. It is what it is. Egypt Air, you fucked me again, but that's all right. I do want to give credit to the guy that helped me out, though. I, I didn't get his name, and I didn't record the conversation. You know, the camera usually changes the dynamic, and he was helping me out immensely. So, you know, again, individuals, uh, you know, good people work for bad organizations. It's true. Um, so... Yeah, what was at stake here? Um, I needed to go back to Luxor to see the Valley of the Kings. That was at stake. Uh, the Nile Air review was at stake. My Air Arabia review was at stake. Um, so yeah, thankfully I'm not trapped in Alexandria, although that wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world because this is my favorite city in Egypt. But maybe we'll come back, who knows? I do have a couple days free, so. Vamos a ver, as they say in Spanish, vamos a ver, we shall see.
I can see why Cairo and Alexandria, Egypt's two largest cities, are not well connected by air. Um, it's about a 30 minute flight, but Egypt air is just so bad. Oh my gosh. And it's almost, uh, almost an hour drive out to the airport in Alexandria. And I think the traffic situation in Cairo is just so bad that, you know, the train is a better option, even though it takes four hours. It costs literally four times less than the taxi ride or the Uber ride from Alexandria to the airport in Alexandria. And it's almost 10 times cheaper to go first class in a train than to go, obviously, economy class on a flight that might get canceled. Um, so, you know, that's just the way it goes. It's also only a two and a half hour drive. So, yeah, that's why people don't fly from Alexandria to Cairo. I got another problem now because we're out in the middle of nowhere in some oil field in Egypt, there's no Uber drivers around. So, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to the Egypt Air guy again and see what he thinks. Because uh, the other option was to go back to downtown Alexandria and get on a bus and I might make it to Cairo just in the nick of time to make my flight. The problem with that, though, is it leaves hourly, and I might not be able to make it, and uh, I don't know. Also, how am I going to get back to Alexandria if there's no Ubers around? So, I don't know what to say. All right, so another friendly airport worker. Not allowed to sit here, but, um, yeah, so another friendly airport worker. Uh... He called a private car for me. I gotta haggle the price, but he says somewhere between a thousand and twelve hundred Egyptian pounds, which is like still less than a hundred dollars to go two and a half hours. So yeah, that's my option. It's my only option right now, actually. So that's what's happening. It is now 5:37 in the morning. I have marked my territory again, and the sun is coming up. Borg Al Arab Airport, right there, still. And a guy in a red BMW is supposed to pick me up. Uh, it's actually the airport worker's brother. And so that's the way, you know, there's a chance for them to make some money. And uh, 1,000 to 1,200 pounds, probably gonna be 1,200 pounds. They're probably gonna want 1,500 pounds, really 100 bucks. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see, um, you know, as things go. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to pay them anything until they take me there, and then I'm going to try and, you know, deliver as little as possible and do the little haggling, Egyptian haggle. So, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Here it is, red BMW that I'm looking for. I'm almost certain. So, we're going to Cairo. Shukran, shukran. So that was my ride. I gave him all the cash in my wallet. It's about 1,100 pounds. Uh, you do the math, it's like $70. But we're here. Cairo International Airport. I think just in time for this flight on Nile Air to Hurghada.